I just fucking pissed on myself. I have no idea what I can do. I you wanna dance? Yeah, but not with you. Oh, come on, lower your standards a little bit. I just did. All right, Pecker Heads, welcome to another edition of Ain't That Some Shit News. Before we get to our headlines today, I'm gonna bring it to the weather with goddamn the man Dan. Take it away, Dan. As you can see, all you need to do is look out your window, assholes. And you know what else? Tonight, it's gonna get dark. And that's the weather for tonight. Back to you, dick. <laughs> Still to come on Ain't That Some Shit News, our in-depth sports analysis from Ain't That Some Shit News is on Lovey Balls. Stay tuned. But oh shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, folks, it's me, Crazy Sports Guy, and I'm here to tell you about some sports. Are you excited or what? This team right here, who gives a fuck about them? You want to get big? You got to drink? Lots of water, take lots of these, some of these, and lots and lots of these to get big, folks. Yeah! Right. Now, never mind what I was doing there with the fancy hooded little cha-cha. All right, let's just get rid of that. Pretend it never happened. <laughs> just got to get on your local television, TV sports guy phone, and call me the sports guy. And say, hey, I need some of what you're doing. Okay, because I'm going to be just like you. You understand what I'm smelling you? All right, then. Okay, here we go. Now, let's take our first caller's question. Now, what's his name here? In Anglewood, he says to us, no, don't, don't, always keep the instrument sterile. Okay? All right. And our first caller, he wants to know how to make a nice, clean drive. All right? Now, drive towards the hoe. I've selected a nice little putting iron for this fella right here. And he seems to think that a three wood's gonna do the trick. Now we've got a three wood right here, folks. We've got a three wood. I suggest Feather Touch. He has selected Power Drive. So I'm gonna show you how to power drive this home. Are you fucking ready? I'm firming it the mouth a little bit. Now start again to me. Can you feel it? All right, so here we go, folks. You're getting ready for the power drive. All right, this is perfect technique. Just watch, keep your head low. Focus, get your hips on a swivel and a fancy pair of pants like these. You see these pants, folks? That's what's gonna make the difference here. Make sure you're at your mom's house in the tea china hut. All right, now you cock this fucker back. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah, just boom, let it go. You just pretend that bad boy is little Miss Muffin who sat on that tuffet and left your ass to rot in jail. That's all you gotta do. Once again, just cock her back and ready and, and watch the pose in the foot. Boom! With the follow. And welcome to tonight's Ain't That Some Shit News. I am your anchor, Ron Spicchio, and here with me tonight, our co-anchor, Needle Dixon. Needle! Yes, sir, Ron. Well, convicted child pornographers are getting a second chance at directing elementary school plays. Ah, okay. Thank you, Ron. This is Chester Chester Tits reporting to you live in Birmingham, Alabama. Yes, I'm with Petey Toucher, a class 5 pedophile. Miraculously, he was given a second chance and was granted permission to direct an elementary school play. Um, anything you would like to say to the public there, Ross? Young Petey? Uh, yes, I just, uh, I just want to say that I, I love these little fuckers. Wow. There you have it, folks. He just loves these little fuckers. This is where little Petey Toucher likes to come out and play with the children. As you can see, it's a wonderful place. We're all smiling children to enjoy. Now, who am I to judge? Pedophile, pervert, look at the man. Gorgeous locks of hair. Who wouldn't want their child playing with this devilish young man? And to think, they've given him a second chance. 
and four of the children were actually molested at this school. Go figure. Well, America, it just warms your heart, doesn't it? Back to you, Ron. I'm, I'm getting nothing, dude. Does your earpiece work? My earpiece doesn't work. We don't have the budget for any earpieces. We're supposed to pretend like they're there. It's the acting aspect of the news. So there's no really earpieces. That is our job. That's what we do. We're anchormen. We interpret the news. We're actors. We're supposed to act like there's actually something in the ear. Please act professional. And that about wraps up our broadcast tonight. And from all of us here at the Ain't That Some Shit News Family, I'd like to wish you, America, a good night.